Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. Today is Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. I read a poem from him just a couple weeks ago. He lived from 1872 to 1906 and was an American poet, novelist, playwright, uh, born in Ohio, but his parents were former slaves who had been enslaved in Kentucky prior to the Civil War. Dunbar was without a doubt one of the great black poets in American history. And as I mentioned when uh, I read his famous poem, Sympathy, he was uh, associated with what is called the Negro dialect. But he also wrote what most people would call a conventional English poems. And uh, despite his death at the age of 33, he is a key figure in American letters. And the poem that I'm going to read today is called We Wear the Mask. It's a pretty heartbreaking poem that, that goes like this. We wear the mask that grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile. With torn and bleeding hearts, we smile and mouth with myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the mask. We smile But, O great Christ, our cries to thee from tortured souls arise. We sing, but, O the clay is vile beneath our feet, and long the mile, but let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. This is a, uh, I said it was heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking in the same way that sympathy is heartbreaking. But you can also sense there's a sort of... um, rage at the core of this poem it's not just a, a heartbrokenness but there's an anger and then there's even a brokenness in it we wear the mask that grins and lies he writes a mask that makes it look like he's happy but that that grin is a lie covers covers my face he says it covers our faces he says shades the way our eyes look, it shades the way our cheeks look. And there's that line that goes, with torn and bleeding hearts we smile. Our hearts have been broken, they've been torn apart, they've been wrecked, and yet we smile because that's what we have to do. We wear the mask that grins and lies. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs, the poem asks. And that's the beginning of the second stanza, of the second of the three stanzas. And that's one of the, that's one of the um, most pointed questions, I think, in poetry of this era. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? No, let them only see us while we wear the mask. That little stanza there, um, which he sets apart from the rest of the poem, is so powerful. And, uh, you know, it reads almost like a rhetorical question, but it's not, you know, it's a, it's a heartbreakingly real question. And from behind the mask, he says, we're crying out for, uh, from within our tortured souls, he says, walking through nasty clay, nasty mud, long, long miles. And well, everyone else can pretend that we're not. That, we're, that the roads are clear. That we're not. That the the, the our feet aren't sore. Um, be, and and the world can pretend that because we wear the mask. Uh, the mask that makes um, the rest of the world feel a certain way. And this is a poem that implicit within it is the question: When can the mask be thrown off? Uh, a question that I think is something we're still grappling with in our world today. And that's why I wanted to read this poem. It's a poem that is quite carefully crafted, that is pointed in its themes, and yet has a, has a lot of uh, subtle nuances to it that imply so much pathos, uh, so much to, to contemplate and, 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 and not stop thinking about, not let, let go of. Um, I actually um, got this in the Library of America's collection, um, American Poetry, the 19th Century, Volume 2. And there's a bunch of Paul Lawrence Dunbar's poems in it. Uh, So if you want to learn more about him, him and his poetry and poetry of the era, then I'd recommend that collection.
But here, once more, is We Wear the Mask by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. We wear the mask that grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile. With torn and bleeding hearts we smile and mouth with myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the mask. We smile, but, O oh, great Christ, our cries to thee from tortured souls arise. We sing, but, O oh, the clay is vile beneath our feet, and long the mile, but let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.